Hey guys, Ryan Collector with Gun University. Now that we know the basic parts of the scope, let's take a deeper look into each one of those parts to see how they work. We're going to start with the elevation and the windage turrets. The elevation turret is the knob on top of the scope, and we're going to use that to adjust the impact of the bullet up and down. This is going to be useful not only when we're zeroing the scope to our rifle, but also when we're shooting at targets a different distance. The knob on the right side of the scope is the windage turret. This is what we're going to use to adjust the impact of the bullet left and right. Now, even though every scope's elevation and windage turret makes the same adjustment, they all don't work in the same way. Some adjust in minutes of angle, it's one unit of the measurement, while others adjust in mils, a completely different unit of the measurement. And some turrets have features that aren't found on all scopes. So let's discuss some of those differences. So for example, these are long range tactical style scopes. They have these big, easy to grab knobs, whereas your hunting scope might have much more lower profile turrets that aren't as easy to grab, but they're not as likely to get snagged or get in the way. Also, some turrets are protected by a cap. This is a capped turret right here, where you have to unscrew the cap in order to get to the actual turret to make your adjustment. Where even on the same scope, we have an uncapped turret, I can just make the adjustment directly on the scope. Other scopes have ways to protect the turrets from getting bumped without using a cap where they'll actually lock the turrets in place. And one style of locking turret, you have to lift up to make the adjustment. And when I'm done, I can push it back down and lock it in place. Or another might have a button on it where the turret cannot be turned unless that button's depressed and I can make my adjustment. The point is, although the elevation and windage turrets do the same thing, you need to know what features are important to you and how your scope adjusts. This scope happens to adjust in one tenth of a mil per click, where your scope might adjust one quarter minute of angle per click. Now, if those terms confuse you, don't panic. We have other videos that explain the difference between minutes of angle and mil. All I'm saying is understand what your scope does, and when you're looking for a new scope, understand what features you might want. A capped turret protecting it from the elements, but making it slower to adjust might be ideal for you. Or having a scope cap where you have to lift it to unlock it might be something you're looking for, or a button. The point is there are different turrets for different purposes and you need to know which one you have and which one works for you. If you're looking for a target tactical scope, having these big knobs that are easy to grab might be for you. But if you're looking for a hunting scope, you may not need these knobs. They're gonna be easily caught on things. You might want more of a capped protected turret instead.